Hi there! We almost made it through April. Congratulations! While I am slowly covering Slavic gods, goddesses, creatures and different aspects of Slavic cultures, I thought that it would be nice to get to the main stage of Slavic mythology. The place where all fairy tales happen. Worlds Yav, Nav and Prav. According to the Slavic theology, there are three worlds in the universe. Yav, Nav and Prav. The legend says that God Rod, who is the top creator in the Slavic pantheon, split its universe energies to prevent chaos. This is how Yav, Nav and Prav appeared at the universe map. Those worlds are different and they have different functions. However, they are connected. If something happens in one of the three worlds, it's going to affect other worlds. Let's start with Yav. Yav is material world. Home for humans, animals and minor nature spirits like Lieshi, who is the spirit of the forest, Damavoy, who is kind house spirit housekeeper, Vadinoy, who is water spirit and the keeper of water, and other spirits, because there are a lot of them and I'm not going to list all of them. Also, Yav is permanent home for nature gods like Mother Earth, Agidel, the goddesses of water, Stribo, the god of wind, and Simargo, the god of fire. Russian language reflects the concept of the word Yav. Words Yavny, which is adjective, means obvious, Naivu, which is adverb, means in reality, a noun явление, which means appearance or phenomenon, a verb появиться, which means to appear, and word явно, which is adverb, means manifestly. They all have root yav in common. Yav is something present and visible, something here and now. What else to say about yav? Well, we've been here. It's kinda messy, but it's better than nothing. By the way, Yav is a popular tourist spot for spirits from Nav, and that is why, according to Slavic theology, we get lost spirits, dead relative family visits, and spiritual substances who will casually try to hurt people. Since we mentioned Nav, the world Nav is the closest to the chaos. Therefore, some shady things are going on there. First of all, it's the underworld. Also, this world has a few layers itself. People's souls, after they leave Yaif, would go to zone called Slavi, and the other part called just Nav, and it's place for sketchy spirits and creatures. Fire River Smarodina separates words Yaif and Nav. The only way to cross this river is to use Kalinov Bridge, and this is how deceased souls go to the underworld. Phrase to cross Kalinov Bridge means to pass away completely. However, it's not the end end. Slavs believed that souls would purify in Nav and go back to the business in Yav. Life is cyclic, according to the pagan Slavs, and you pass life levels in Yav like in game. People stay in touch with Navi even during their lifetime in Yav, through dreams. Russian noun Snavidenia means a dream and it has root Nov but it's a little bit transformed nov nav and the other part videnie is to see so when we sleep we see nav the sign that you actually see nav in your dream is blue light in addition if you see envelope or parcels in your dream that means you should expect news and it's brought by personal experience our last stop is prav it's the first world that was created according to the Slavic theology. Prav is the fanciest place you can ever find in Slavic world, as well as closest world to the primary source of light in the universe. Prav is home to major gods and also functions like a heaven. Part where fine gods are located called Svargi and heaven part called Iri. Prav is the place where the law for humans was created and it's also the place that Velis was kicked out from. Order and law opposite to chaos, and it played important role for Slavic people. At the same time, Slavs one of the first who are going to challenge rules like IKEA assembly instructions for the furniture. And I'm guilty of it too. 
The concept of the word prav is reflected in Russian language. There is a word pravila, which is noun, means a rule. There is a noun pravda, which means truth, and a noun prava, which means right. On another hand, there is a word neправильно, which is adverb, means wrong. If you remember from my Lada video, part не at the beginning means not. Неправильно means not according to prav, that is why it's wrong. If a word has a root prav, that means it's related to law, order and things like that, or absence of it. Overall, prav is good order according to which you live, and if you are not, you aren't getting to this fancy place afterwards. Don't ignore Archaea assembly instructions. Pretty straightforward. Wow, that was quite a trip. In less than 10 minutes we visited all places that cover a typical lifetime trip. We're going to visit Nav and Prav in person at some point later. For now, tell me in the comments below if you saw letters and parcels in your dream. I'm curious to see if this prediction scene worked for someone else. The next episode of my series is the Echo of Spring Season, Orthodox Easter Special, in case you miss Catholic Easter. It's never too much of Easter. See you there!